time. Today we're doing the most highly requested video yet on my channel and just most anticipated video on my channel as well, which is my bathroom makeover. Ever since I filmed my bedroom makeover, I briefly showed you guys the bathroom behind me and asked if you guys wanted to see a makeover of that. And so many of you guys wanted to. I know you guys are probably excited too, so let's just get on into it. As you can see right off the bat, it does not match the vibe of my room at all. So here's an overview. There's a nice big mirror right here and sink. And then here's the toilet, shower, and all of that stuff here. And as you can see, my room is connected to this bathroom, but there's also a door right here, which goes out into the main hallway. Before I took over this room, my dad did have these shelves already installed, and I just put some stuff on here. That's pretty much a general overview of what this bathroom looks like as of right now before I haven't done anything to it. And if you do like these makeover type videos, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel if you want to. I would really appreciate it and let's just get started. Here's all the paint stuff I'm going to be using. I'm in the back room right now. Thankfully, I don't need to buy paint. And yes, I'm painting it white. Don't come for me for making it basic. I really think you'll open up the space and make it as big as it can and also make the best lighting in there as possible. First, we're gonna use this spackle and fix some of the holes in the walls. Like for example, there's one right here. looking like everything is completely taped up and there's definitely an echo going on right now because I took off the shelves and we're gonna get to painting I have to lay down the plastic over the sink and toilet and shower area but that's pretty much it just finished the first coat of the bathroom and it looks drastically different already. It's much more brighter and you can tell I definitely need to do a second coat because you can still see that green color under the white paint. So I'm about to do that, but I'm gonna give you guys a little overview. This is what it looks like so far. <laughs> doing the second coat and this is what it's looking like. I just want to go to bed so we're gonna figure this all out in the morning but honestly I am so so happy with it so far like it is already so much brighter and the lighting is just so much better. I'm also so sweaty. Anyways good night. <laughs> drastically different since the last time you guys saw me but it is now two days later and we're gonna paint a third coat so I don't know if you can tell on camera but it looks pretty much done like the two coats look like it's enough but in some spots it can be kind of splotchy like right there you can still see some streaks and stuff like that since you guys last saw me, but we're gonna finally paint my ceiling today. It's been like two weeks since I took off the tape and like painted the actual bathroom, but I just haven't had time to like paint the ceiling. But now today I finally do on this Saturday afternoon. I'm basically gonna change into the same exact outfit that I've been wearing throughout this whole video of painting. And then I also need to do some touch-ups. I'll show you guys what I mean. Like I don't know if you guys can see the green paint. And then it's also over here, just like along the trim. I just need to kind of go over that. So we're gonna be doing some touch-ups here as well with the paint brush but mainly just painting the ceiling and then after this I can really get to decorating which is honestly the best part and the part I'm most excited about looks like I'm definitely gonna need to get more paint later today because this is not enough to paint the ceiling to the Benjamin Moore store really quickly. So I'm basically gonna just change out of my clothes really, really quickly and get going. It is so echoey in there, what the heck? So far the first coat 
it looks good, but I'm seeing that it's a bit splotchy. I don't know if it's coming up on camera, but it looks like I'm definitely gonna need to do a second coat in the morning. I will update you guys tomorrow or the next time I work on this bathroom. but I finally finished the ceiling of my bathroom and let me show you guys I'm like walking in from my room it's so bright and I'm just like so glad this is done after like two and a half weeks I finally had the energy and time to completely finish this bathroom so by the end of tonight everything will be prepared to be decorated <laughs> November 5th and it's a Friday and today we're gonna be doing the iconic Ikea trip I made a list on my phone of everything I kind of need because last night I just stood in my bathroom for a while and also scrolled through Pinterest and curated like just a list of everything I'm going to need shower curtain because it kind of looks like a hotel it's got like a nice fabric feel to it It's a couple days later since you guys last saw me at Ikea and I'm gonna give you guys a haul of everything I got And I also have a lot of other stuff from other stores that I bought online or prior to this video that are just going in my bathroom That I've been holding on to this is from hey, I decided to get these cute crates I got a light blue color a pink color a cream color and also a nice brown color And I really liked how these can stack on top of each other, but I think you just put up the sides I don't know I just thought these would look really really cute in my bathroom and you can just stack them like this now from ikea i got this like incense kind of thing it's just like this cute little vase and these sticks smell like lavender and you know you just want the bathroom to smell good because you know i also got this candle to go along with making the bathroom smell good i also got this shower curtain as you guys saw from the vlog footage going along with more decorations i got this little flower pot holder and then also this plant i just thought that this would look cute once again like on my shelf and then i got this trash can from ikea as well to go along with this flower pot but the thing is this isn't actually a trash can it's a big flower pot for like really really big plants there's actually some dirt in it as well but i think i can make it work the next thing i got is this like wooden box there's two actually inside what i saw in the ikea decorative rooms is that they actually put folded up washcloths in this and put it next to like the toothbrush kind of area so then to obviously go with those boxes i did get this pack of four white washcloths for storage under my sink i got two of these really big boxes I just thought these two boxes would look really nicely stacked on top of each other under my sink And then I also got the same exact two boxes but a much smaller size And then lastly from Ikea which was the most expensive and biggest thing I got is not even for my bathroom I got it for my room. It's this thing. So basically it's a nightstand But I like how it is a basket as well because behind my bed here You can't see it, but I store all of my blankets and pillows just on the floor So I thought that this would be really really practical because I also don't have a nightstand in my room and if you guys want to see like an updated room tour where I put this all together Please let me know but I'm not gonna like focus on this too much first thing is from Walmart Which is this shower caddy thing I just thought that this would be a really good organization thing to put in my shower next up from Target I have these two shelves These are gonna go up above my toilet area and then the last thing is this painting back here My mom got this for me at a thrift store I also need to run to Target and Walmart because I have two more things I need First thing is a shower liner. They didn't have any at Ikea, so I do have the curtain, but I need a liner. And then I also need like a wooden basket of some sort. I just finished up at home, the store at home. And I got a few organization things, but now I'm at Walmart because I need a shower liner. I don't know if I'm gonna go to Target just because I found the organization stuff at the other place, but I still need a few little jars to put stuff in. 
All right guys, I just got back from going out and I'm gonna show you guys what I briefly got because I really need to start decorating this bathroom. I got these two little glass jars. I plan on putting Q-tips in them. I then got this shower liner and then the soap dispenser I wanted from Ikea wasn't in stock when I went. So I picked these up from Walmart. They're just really simple. I just got the soap dispenser and then I got the matching toothbrush holder. And then I also got this little wired basket and I plan on putting this on top of my toilet. Then the store at home. I first got this thing and I plan on putting this in the top drawer and then I also got this I just am now realizing I got two baskets. I don't know. I'll find a use for this I'm sure. Okay, now it is time for me to start putting up my shower liner and curtain the curtain is looking like. I think I want to finish the shower while I'm at it. So I'm also going to set up the shower caddy thing I showed you guys earlier. And then we're going to move on to the next thing, which I think is going to be the organization. I really want to get a start on my drawers tonight. Here's the final outcome of the pole tension rod thing. I put all of my products on here and I absolutely love how it's much more organized and off of the corners of my shower. I think now I'm going to do all of the organization stuff because as of right now, it's really messy and just disorganized. I think this drawer is gonna stay the same. It's just my two hair dryers. And then down here is just extra towels and toilet paper. It's mainly just these two chaotic drawers and cabinets. for tonight i will show you guys what i have so far it's still really messy just because i need to put stuff up on my shelves that bamboo thing from ikea came with two boxes so i did my little idea with the one where i put the four washcloths in here then i also had an extra one and i put it here in this drawer to put some washcloths in here that are extras i also set up my skincare bin over here skincare is all blue and this crate is blue and i feel like it matches really nicely and i will see you guys all on the last hopefully the last day of this guys it is the last day I'm gonna be working on my bathroom and we're gonna be doing all of the decorating touches today and just wrapping it all up as a whole because this process has been taking way too long for me just because I've been so busy in between filming these segments anyways I'm gonna show you guys what my bathroom looks like as of right now nothing has really changed it just looks disorganized a bit here I painted the frame white and I plan on hanging this right here on this beautiful blank wall and my shelves are up too I put some stuff on on here but it's definitely incomplete i made a list of a couple things i need to do and one thing is i want to find some type of wall decor piece to go right here i just feel like this space right here has so much potential for something i also decided not to do led lights in my bathroom just because there's not really a place for them because i do like how they look in my room and i feel like they would look really cool under the counters but there's not really a place to plug them in that's the only outlet right here and i'm not having a bunch of cords come up and like plug in the outlet outlet here because I use this outlet for like hair stuff. I found these matching bath rugs at Walmart and that's all I got. But I'm at the at home store now and I'm going to try to find something to put on that blank wall. We're gonna do that. I'm exhausted. I'm running on like 30 minutes of sleep. home now and actually found one of these like hanging plant things at five below surprisingly and I know it's about to be really really small because it was like three dollars I think it's gonna work out fine because I don't want it to be really big because I'm putting it where like a door is opening and I didn't find any wall decor piece to put on that empty wall maybe I'll make my own prints like frame my own artwork and do that that's gonna have to be for another time I'm just not gonna find anything within the time frame of this video I don't want to drag out this bathroom makeover for any longer than it needs to. We're gonna go inside and set all this up. I 
picture and honestly nice when you walk in and look at it but when I stare at myself in the mirror I hate how it's lifted off this side of the wall it's just the way how the wire is on the back of the frame and I honestly hate looking at that so I think I'm gonna put the Paris painting here and the plant here gonna hold really well. I'm using this plastic cup and then I wrapped some paper around it. I'm just gonna put my vines in here as well. I really really like this in the corner. I might add some more vines that go up over here but for right now I just like the simplicity of this one. Now that everything is set up in my bathroom I'm gonna give you guys like a nice overview of all the aesthetic stuff and just kind of like a mini tour of like up close shots and then we're gonna get to the full-on bathroom tour where I show you guys where everything is from and answer all of your guys's questions hopefully so let's get on into the overview. So when you walk in you see this it looks so good So this door goes into my room and then this one goes out to the main hallway But the first thing near the door is this plant type thing and you guys saw how I DIY'd this These vines are from Amazon and then this plant holder thing is from five below And then you look over here to my counter area These mats are from Walmart and then I have these crates from hay I have this little plant in here from Ikea and all of my skincare and then I have this matching soap dispenser and toothbrush holder from from Walmart. This is from Ikea and these washcloths are also from Ikea. Then I also have two more of these crates over here. I just have my hairbrush in here, this Bath and Body Works candle, and then another Ikea mini plant. These vines are once again from Amazon and the fairy lights are also from Amazon, but these are mainly just for decoration for the video. I think it's definitely a like fire hazard of some sort to have the fairy lights plugged into the wall with the sink being right here. I'm definitely going to take them out, but this is mainly just for the video and to make it more cute. But then over here, I have these shelves. They're from Target. These two jars that are holding my q-tips and cotton pads are from Walmart. I have this little scent thing that's lavender from Ikea and I made this little mirror thing in one of my videos. And then I just have a mini space needle thing that my mom got me when she visited Seattle. And then another Ikea mini plant. This pot holder for the plant that this is in is also from Ikea and same with this candle. And then this is just kind of random. I got this like scent decor stuff as a gift. This is from Walmart. Walmart, and then my trash can over there is from Ikea. Next up is my shower. This is from Ikea. You guys saw me get this. In here, this little organizer thing is from Walmart. I got it a while ago. Then when you turn over here, I just have another bath mat and then the towels. I folded them all nicely. I promise you it won't stay like this. And then I just have this painting and my mom thrifted this for me. And yeah, that is pretty much a big overview of my bathroom. If you guys liked this room makeover type thing, please give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And then also subscribe my channel if you want to. And follow me on Instagram at CaitlinDeWitt underscore. And lastly, one other thing. If you did make it up to the end of this video, comment down below this little emoji. I like to see who's watching up to the end of my videos. And it's just a fun thing to do in the comments. And yeah, that is pretty much it. I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.